By the power vested in me as Chancellor, I hereby constitute this assembly as a legal congregation of the University of Pretoria. During this assembly, degrees and diplomas with all associated rights and privileges will be conferred and awarded to the candidates whose names appear in the program. We request all of you to join us in silent prayer or meditation to give thanks for the achievements of our students. Thank you. As Chancellor of the University of Pretoria, I extend a hearty welcome to you at this virtual graduation ceremony. I would like to welcome our Honorary Doctorate Professor Carlos Castillo Chavez, the Dean and the Deputy Dean of the Faculty, along with all persons to whom degrees and diplomas will be conferred and awarded. We also welcome families, friends and spouses to this virtual graduation ceremony. A warm welcome to all who are joining the ceremony today and a special welcome to our esteemed graduates who have achieved this milestone during this incredibly challenging time that our country, continent and the world is facing. It is an honor to be part of this ceremony, a month of autumn graduations where 11,424 qualifications will be conferred in absentia between the 13th April and the 7th May. Today, as we celebrate your success, I would like to congratulate you on your hard work, tenacity, and resilience through this COVID-19 time. It has taught us how to be tech savvy, how to adapt to unforeseen challenges, and how to honor and cherish life, as so many of us have lost loved ones during the pandemic. The thing about life is that no matter what we are facing, be it joy, hardship, sorrow, success, triumph, or disaster, life goes on. The determining factor is how we choose to walk this path. Nelson Mandela's long walk to freedom refers as much to his personal and political walk as it does to the long walk that we must all take in life to achieve freedom, freedom to be ourselves, freedom to express ourselves, and freedom to achieve our highest goals. The walk is one of lifelong personal development, and it is also a physical walk if we're able. Many of you are no strangers to physically walking long distances. And while it can be associated with hardship, it is also healthy to physically walk. Our Vice Chancellor is a good example. He walks to contemplate his concerns, dilemmas, and thoughts. Karke Hart, a Danish philosopher, wrote about this. He said, do not lose your desire to walk. Every day, I walk myself into a state of well-being. I have walked myself into my best thoughts, and I know of no thoughts so burdensome that one cannot walk away from. I share this with you because it is our ability to walk, the walk of triumph over hardship and crisis that determines our capacity for happiness, caring, and success. Right now, we are facing many crises. The COVID-19 pandemic is not only a disease crisis, it is a crisis of society, of the economy, of sustainability and well-being, and of governance of the continent and globally. It is a big wake-up call to think and do differently, with our universities playing an essential role in co-creating the future we want. The future is wide open for all of you graduating today to contribute to changing our society and our communities for the better. You need to be the transformation you desire and to relentlessly apply yourselves to contribute to achieving a better world. As defined by the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, 
This is your calling. Speaking at another occasion, the Vice Chancellor made the following comments on Sustainable Development Goals. Our success depends on the world that is thriving, where human dignity and justice are paramount, where all people are able to reach their full potential while nobody is left behind, and where our development does not happen at the expense of our planet. We recognize the critical role that our university and graduates must play in securing the future of our country and continent. All 10 of the world's countries with the youngest populations are in Africa, with approximately 65% of the continent's citizens being below the age of 35. Access to quality higher education is a fundamental building block, not only for economic growth, but for reimagining a future we can all believe. The capacity to participate in this is creative and exciting. It includes examining ourselves, our organizational structures and cultures to ensure that they are relevant, future fit, and enablers of agility, innovation, and responsiveness. All of this needs to be done by leveraging technology, transdisciplinarity, and collaboration. In May, we will be hosting Africa's first Nobel Prize Dialogue, bringing together Nobel laureates, opinion leaders, policymakers, students, researchers, and the public to engage in conversations of the future of work. Digital skills and capabilities are a must-have for all students and graduates. In 2019, the University of Pretoria invested 100 million rands into the digitalization of our system as we recognize the necessity of this for our students. At the same time, we are keenly aware that COVID-19 has amplified the structural inequalities in our country's education system. The National Ministry of Higher Education estimated that only about 20% of learners were reached through the various online platforms utilized during lockdown. To achieve access for all, we must advance the use of technology in all our schools and hold government accountable on its commitment to all learners and students. Since 2013, Cabinet has been pledging to deliver free broadband access to 90% of South Africa by 2020 and 100% by 2030. Further to the discussion about the future of work, it deeply pleases me to see how committed UP is to you. Our graduates being eminently employable or self-employable. The university fosters an entrepreneurial spirit among our students through the online entrepreneurship programs, business incubators, and small business development portals. It assists in growing innovation and entrepreneurship through the tax innovation ecosystem. This system provides specialized support to entrepreneurs throughout their startup growth journey, and it connects science and technology innovators with big companies, academics, and government. We hope that you make good use of this. UB is further committed to ensuring that you, our graduates, are at the forefront of the fourth industrial revolution, hence the extensive transdisciplinary curriculum in four IR fields, including big data science, data analytics, and artificial intelligence, offered through a range of departments and schools. The university recently launched Engineering 4.0, about all things digital in the transport and mobility space and is training students in how smart cities and smart transport will work. It is also pursuing research on the ethics of AI and the student counseling unit has just activated a first of its kind counseling chatbot called Scooby, whom we hope some of you have conducted because Scooby uses artificial intelligence to develop and grow. The more it is used, the more responsive it becomes. 
augmented and virtual reality laboratories and knowledge creation environments are sprouting up worldwide and being very effectively used. Our Department of Mining Engineering has the Kumba Virtual Reality Center for Mining, the only one in Africa, where our students are able to virtually experience being in a mine underground. It needs to be added that minerals and mining engineering at UP have just been ranked in the top 50 places in the world to study these subjects in the latest U.S. World University rankings. In the same rankings, theology, religion, and divinity in our faculty of theology and religion were ranked in the top 100, and their citations were ranked among the top worldwide, ahead of some of the most prestigious universities in Europe. Why? Because as the dean of the faculty of theology and religion, Professor Jerry Pillay explains, UP's focus is on relevant, contextual, transformative research to provide new knowledge that inspires people to reconsider what we think and do in our everyday lives and encourages positive change. He adds that justice and peace are two of the big issues globally, and there is a revival of introspection in terms of what is happening in the world. There is a reawakening to the realities of life. It is not an easy time, but it is a fascinating time for you to be pursuing the next step of your career. Fortunately, you do so with the strongest possible higher education to your name. I'm pleasantly struck by the excellence of our graduates and the quality of our academic staff. At UP, 68.1% of our academic staff have doctorates, the largest number in South Africa. This is increasing year on year. The qualification levels of, of academic staff have a direct impact on the capacity for research, supervision and productivity, with an increase of approximately 70 doctoral graduates each year. A further measure of quality is the number of researchers who have achieved a National Research Foundation rating. We have 564 NRF-rated researchers, 16 of which are A-rated. And so wherever you find yourself over in the next few years, and whichever career you pursue, you can do so with utmost confidence that you are a graduate of the University of Pretoria. As I confer these qualifications on you today, I once again convey my heartfelt congratulations. I encourage you to go forth boldly into the world and to continue to ask questions, remain curious, seek solutions and solve problems. Hold on tight to your idealism and your hope for a better future. Promote your university and support it in the best way you can as a donor, mentor to fellow students, and an advocate of what you have learned. We are proud to have you as part of the UP alumni family. We wish you the very best, and we look forward to seeing you progress. I congratulate you again, and I thank you. I now request the Dean to introduce to me the candidate for the Honorary Doctorate. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to introduce to you Professor Carlos Castillo Chavez for the conferment of the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. Professor Carlos Castillo Chavez is a Mexican-born American scientist who arrived in the United States in 1974 aged 22 and rose from humble beginnings as a cheese factory worker to become globally recognized among applied mathematicians and mathematical epidemiologists. He graduated with two degrees, mathematics and Spanish literature, and then continued to receive his master's degree in 1977, followed by a doctoral degree in 1984, both in mathematics from the University of Wisconsin. He spent 18 years at Cornell University, where he held joint professorships 
in the departments of Biological Statistics and Computational Biology and Theoretical and Applied Mechanics, before moving to Arizona State University, where he held the positions of Regents Professor and Joaquin Bustos Jr. Professor. The award of an honorary doctorate recognizes Professor Castillo Chavez's outstanding intellectual contributions of high academic and scientific merit with global impact. His research is a true embodiment of multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary research, particularly at the interface of mathematics with natural and social sciences. He is the founder of the Mathematical and Theoretical Biology Institute at Arizona State University. In 2007, the Institute was recognized as a mathematics program that makes a difference by the American Mathematical Society. Professor Castillo Chavez played a key role in the transformation of the demographical landscape in mathematical sciences. He is a founder of the Institute for Strengthening the Understanding of Mathematics and Science. The Institute focuses on providing college opportunities to high school students to increase the number of U.S. underrepresented minorities that earn a PhD and assume positions of leadership in fields that require high levels of quantitative expertise. Professor Castillo Chavez's contribution to capacity building is exceptional and was recognized by two USA White House awards, the Presidential Faculty Fellowship Award in 1992 and the Presidential Award for Excellence in Science, Mathematics and Engineering Mentoring in 1997. Professor Castillo Chavez has a long-term relationship with the Department of Mathematics and Applied Mathematics of the University of Pretoria. In 2013, the department hosted Professor Castillo Chavez as a guest speaker at the launch of the South African Research Chair Initiative in Mathematical Models and Methods in Bioengineering and Biosciences. Since the launch of the chair, the relationship between him and the faculty has grown and the impact he has had elsewhere also manifests at UP. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer the honorary doctorate on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree Doctor of Science Honoris Causa with all the rights and privileges on Professor Carlos Castillo Chavez. I have the honor of requesting our honorary doctorate to deliver his address. Good day to the leadership of the University of Pretoria, its faculty, its staff, but most importantly to the graduating class of 2021 a diverse group of South African and international students that are representative of the future of South Africa, Africa, and the world. It was my hope and expectation to thank the leadership of this extraordinary institution personally for awarding me this recognition. Unfortunately, it was not possible. Since 1985, I have been dedicated myself to the study of epidemics and pandemics as well as the evolutionary dynamics of disease. Indeed, I am proud current member of the field of mathematical epidemiology. In collaboration with giants like Fred Brower from the University of Wisconsin, Simon Alevin from Princeton, Herbert Hetko from the University of Iowa, my former 52 PhD students and 30 postdocs and many collaborators, I have managed to follow my dream, that is to use mathematics to advance the public good. In 1986, in Trieste, Italy, I was inspired by the late Robert May from Oxford, as well as Roy Anderson from Imperial College, to get involved with the use of mathematical models to scale up the efforts to limit the impact of HIV around the world. It was in Trieste, Italy, in 1986 and 1988, that I came in contact with a large number of brilliant black American African mathematicians who had been carrying out extraordinary research on their difficult conditions and with limited resources. My collaborative research on the dynamics, evolution and control of influenza, HIV, vector bone diseases, tuberculosis and many others, including the 2002-2003 coronavirus outbreak, has been welcomed, expanded, improved and more by a cadre of African mathematicians including your very own Professor Jean Luguma. Now, after 35 years in academia, I have retired, 
and so I have devoted a lot of time to rethink and reshape my views on the role of mathematics in addressing global challenges that have emerged from my daily experiences with the devastating COVID-19 pandemic. Despite my 35 plus years devotion to the study of the dynamics and evolution of disease, I can unequivocally state that the many dimensions that we have discovered as we experience this ongoing pandemic have exceeded my imagination. The need to use mathematical models to scale up solutions in the context of human tragedy in order to mitigate deleterious consequences and optimize resources must be embraced by scientists and decision makers as a fundamental component of local, regional, national, and global health policies. Mathematics is the language and mathematical models, the forum where we can discover the optimal solutions for the challenges of today. Today, as a result of science and a group of scientists, including mathematicians of all nationalities, often employed at the most elite institutions of the world, we have experienced an unprecedented global response that highlights the importance of global collaboration and science without borders, accompanied by the implementation of policies and strategies that must account for the well-being of all of us, that is, the entire world. What do I expect from the graduating class of 2021 of this great institution? That all of you together with the nearly 300,000 University of Pretoria alumni will continue to expand the production infrastructure of the African continent so that Africans can manufacture what the continent needs, including vaccines at a moment notice. I am certain that this generation, in collaboration with the world, but primarily with the talent of this continent, will be leading the efforts of agricultural, medical, scientific, and mathematical research in the 21st century. This amazing institution, as a world leader in innovation, research, and education, with the view that energy of the African nation has become the foundation of a new paradigm driven by science for the public good. I am thankful for this honors, especially on May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, a day of importance to Mexican Americans and Mexicans like myself. So I want to end this video wishing you, with the continued support of your families and friends, a bright future as you take on the challenges of the day. Viva the University of Pretoria. Viva South Africa. Thank you and Godspeed. Thank you, Professor Carlos Castillo Chavez, for your address. I hereby confer and award all degrees and diplomas in absentia with the associated rights and privileges to all candidates whose names appear in the graduation program. Doctor of Philosophy Claude Bambe Mozinga, Mathematical Sciences Thesis Robust time spectral methods for solving fractional differential equations in finance Supervisor Professor E. Marais Co-Supervisor Dr. E. Pinza Liseri Mabizela Mathematical Science A Thesis On the Risk Measures Representation and Capital Allocation in the Backward Stochastic Differential Equations Framework Supervisor Dr. R. Kufakunesu Jocelyn Mazarura Mathematical Statistics Thesis A Gamma Poison Topic Model for Short Text Supervisor Dr. H.J. Duval Co-Supervisor Professor J.P. de Villiers Brenda Otieno McOdual Mathematical Statistics A Thesis Asymmetric generalizations of symmetric univariate probability distributions obtained through quantile splicing Supervisor Dr. P.J. Finstaden External co-supervisor, Dr. R.A.R. King. The following award is jointly awarded with McMaster University, Canada. 
Philip Myberg, Mathematical Statistics Thesis on Weighted Poison Distributions and Processes with Associated Inference and Applications Supervisor Professor N. Balakrishnan External Supervisor Dr. I. J. H. Fasahi Master of Science, Actuarial Science Dirk Gunradi Advanced Data Analytics Rene Kirsten with Distinction Tembinkosi Kunene Colette Leroux Salome Millard with Distinction Elian Nell Shardai Nkhrini Jean-Pierre Stander with Distinction Christine Van Seyl Tristan Rag Applied Mathematics Ndutuzo Majozi Financial Engineering Wade Gunning with Distinction Mathematical Statistics Michaela Laidlaw with Distinction Mkolisi Msibi Mathematics Silo Mbambo Bachelor of Science Honours Actuarial Science Simone Bachelor Justin Bronze Alexander Bruns Marizai Breer Mohammed Karim with distinction Kiyashin Chinsami Christian Clausen Dominic Cominatu Martin Curran Kunj Desai Mario Arvedosa James Godfrey with distinction Jared Gosling Barend Grobler Friedrich Grobler Von Grootboom Michael Gumbo Jean Hanna Kevin Hendricks Megan Holzhausen Matthew Janse van Rensberg Robert Laurent Chimera Maharaj Hazel Maconi Rebecca Martin Kaylee Musa Rotondoa Nichia Monia Nurkia Dinay Pavlo Rajvir Rajaram Tamara Ricky with distinction Hannah Rickard Grant Sheard Ndandogaise Spagnoni Hassan Scuff Clyde Stridum Mita Tladi Rhino van der Berg Tanya van der Walt with distinction Alexander van Jerden Alzai van Seyl Jacques Vivierge with distinction Vian van Bach Ethan Watson Josias Zervik Applied Mathematics Tatiana Blesher with distinction Benjamin van Hierden with distinction Financial Engineering 
Zander de Klerk Tando Jele Ruan Nell Shamain Sibanda Mathematical Statistics Tangelani Baloi Matthew Bernard Christos Bofilatos Savannah Brombacher Shamain Chakawodza Roshan Kurtze Megan Kutsia Ruan Durant Michelle Ella Essela Mudala Francis Armand Graf Robert Greiling Sinead Harrison with distinction Claudio Jardim Buang Khwadi Eugenia Karatian Matimu Kosa Calvin Kleinhans Andrei Kleinhans Coral Creel Vutivi Mabasa Lilita Maboza Spiwe Makakula Tempinkosi Manyaruke with distinction Bonolo Maputuma Karen McMaster Itumeling Ngoveni Nompumelelo Ngabinde Arnoldus Otto with distinction Tepiso Rangongo Lebohang Ratebe Michaela Sklanders Kristen Smith with distinction Louise Stride Anastasios Sinodinos Lerato Tema Janai van der Sande Chelsea van der Waal Zanel van Riede van Oudsoorn Alana van Tonder Abraham Vanenberg Mathematics Adrian de Klerk with distinction Mathematics and Mathematics Education Jelani van Riede van Oudsoorn Bachelor of Science Thomas Chamberlain Sumeshni Pele Lauren Snow Bachelor of Science Actuarial and Financial Mathematics Quadwo Afrane Okese with distinction Surav Anando with distinction Gerard Bezaidenoth with distinction. Luvon Bezaidenoth with distinction. David Bolatimi. Monique Bover. Owen Saliers. Theophilus Danda. Connor Davis. Johan Diechenor Michel Delaroche Sylvestre with distinction Charles de Witt Lungile Lojo Sikabate Diale Temboluo Didiba Nicole Duarte with distinction Amanda Dube Matthew Dunbar Darius Estreisen Connor Gordon Dual Governor Jueria Hafiji with distinction Savannah Holstead Zainab Harar Leah Hussein 
Wei Hao Huang, Tasha Isaac with distinction, Jakob Jakobs, Yashtur Kersaparshad with distinction, Shazia Khan with distinction, Debucho Homo with distinction. Sbanisezwe Kumalo Won Kim Ralton Kistanasami Chris Culver Katri Lichodi Grant Leong Nicola Ludic with distinction Mikateko Mabuza Yanika Mader Ramavele Mashangu Mosin Mohammed Ahmed Bunolo Mahuma Ntigelelo Machola Laura Malan with distinction Michael Manley Tehofato Manchu Tete Mashinho Lehonolo Mashishi Dimbo Matlo Victor Mendonza Ngovile Mshanga Hoto Mudise with distinction Ntabiseng Mufugeng Tasmika Mohan Kinsley Mohabudi Khashiso Mukumane Aldin Moody with distinction Twene Mutlana Danal Muton with distinction Lemarain Miller Senation Narainsami with distinction Alyssa Nal Stefan Nell with distinction Hannah Newman Rina Nkomzwayo with distinction Liesel Oberholzer Danielle Paris Hannah Pitker with distinction Michael Phillips with distinction Marinda Pinar with distinction Luke Peters Jason Pledger with distinction Brandon Polyblank Carly Pretorius Jenna Prinsler with distinction Constantina Protopapas Samuel Puata Wiseman Khatewe Mekara Rangasami Janus Riedelengais Puti Sako Lizo Sangela Martinas Skuman with distinction Tsepo Sinama Caleb Cindy Marnus Slobbert with distinction Vayuna Suku Chantal Striatker Dievald Strubel with distinction Jaquebus Swart with distinction Jason Tezaira with distinction Neil Tolmy Jessica Tonks Tejas Valab Andre van Aasviegen Amanda van Dijk with distinction Jan van Niekerk Anouk Vos with distinction 
Jakobus Vreugdenberg with distinction. Chloe Wiggle with distinction. In applied mathematics, Toriso Matlala Mpo Mota Bernay Nortier with distinction. Jason Pillay with distinction. Jade Tuloch Marlies van de Vietering with distinction. Rentia Marie van Rooyen Preston van Tonder with distinction. In mathematical statistics, Munir Abdul Rechman Gerald Bezaidenout Predatile Davana Damien de Freitas Stefanus Kersop Camogelo Mapeto Casongo Molisho Maite Musere Tanyarazwa Moshoko Tereka Naidu Ese tu ntomo. Riabe tui sikese. Dimpo sikawolelo. Tsepo tinyane. Wanchi wu. Kaelise gameze. Ramadimeje lishilo. Shivek maharaj. Khumuzo Makatu Tsepiso Makutle Tenti Morobe Maxwell Munzenzi Nicole Ngoko Dimakazo Nyati Karabo Rapela Rencia Simon Efent Silashe Rotondwa Simba Gideon Stridum Jue Yu Tang Johannes Forster In Mathematics Debucho Mshongo Kifense Dibudi with Distinction Mariska Genus Michelle Jacobs with distinction. Danica Lotta. James Lowe with distinction. Tuso Nechibungwe. Nian Foster with distinction. I will now introduce to you the recipient of the Vice-Chancellor and Principal's Award, the following candidate distinguished himself during 2020 as the overall top achiever in his faculty. Congratulations. Award of the Vice-Chancellor and Principal, James Lowe. Achievement Awards. Sam's Bronze Medal Prize, Adrian de Clerc. Discovery Holdings Award, the prize is shared. Simone Bachelor, Tanya van der Waalt. Statement Prize, Salome Millard. Discovery Holdings Prize, James Godfrey. Prudential Investment Managers Prize Mohammed Karim Gensek Prize Zander de Clerc MMI Group Limited Prize Jacques Vivierge Outsurance Prize Kaylee Moussa PPS Prize Mohammed Karim Statement Prize Tempinkosi Manyaruke 
Diewald Hutton Book Prize, James Lowe, the FNB Prize, Michelle Delaroche Sylvestre, Outsurance Prize, Stefan Nell, Prudential Investment Managers Prize, Stefan Nell, Statimate Prize, Marnus Slabbert. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let us give our graduates a big hand for their hard work and perseverance. I would like to thank the families, friends and spouses for supporting our graduates during their studies. We have now come to the end of the proceedings. Please join us in singing the national anthem. By the powers vested in me as Chancellor, I hereby dissolve this assembly of the University of Pretoria. Amen.